Hey everyone, as you can see, we are back in the kitchen. If you saw our previous video, Steve mentioned we are practicing safe social distancing and with the parks being closed, we thought this would be a great time to bring back some of our older elements from the channel and show you how you can bring some of the Disney magic into your own home. So today I'm gonna show you how to make the Jack Jack Num Num cookie. This cookie is delicious, and you can find it at either Disney's Hollywood Studios in Walt Disney World, or if you're on the West Coast, in Disney California Adventure. Now, this recipe actually comes from the official Pixar Instagram page, and I highly recommend you check it out because they've listed the ingredients in the forms of playful, whimsical illustrations featuring our beloved Jack-Jack, and it's definitely worth checking out. Now this recipe for the most part is a classic chocolate chip cookie recipe. The only real difference is that we're gonna brown our butter. By doing that, we're gonna really extract those rich caramelly notes of the butter and give you a really decadent, deep flavored cookie. Now because we're gonna brown the butter, we will need to let it solidify after we do that. So therefore, this recipe is a little time consuming, more than your traditional chocolate chip cookie recipe, but trust me, it is worth it. So let's get cooking. For this recipe, you're gonna need one cup of butter, which is two sticks, one and a quarter cups brown sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and use light brown sugar because we are gonna brown the butter, a quarter of a cup of white sugar, two eggs, two and a quarter cups flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and lastly, one cup of chocolate chips. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and brown our two sticks of butter. I'm gonna do that over medium high heat. Now, as this begins to melt down, you're gonna see those milk solids coming to the top. That's perfectly fine. You're gonna start seeing your butter getting very, very foamy. Just keep stirring it. Over time, you're gonna start seeing it develop a nice, rich amber color. And what you're really looking out for is that nutty aroma. Once you get there, you're gonna to wanna to take your butter off the heat because we wanna brown the butter, we don't wanna burn it. All right, it looks like my butter is exactly where I want it to be, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off the heat and put it on a cooling rack. All right, so we transferred our butter to the cooling rack, which allows the air circulation to really bring this to a more room temperature. Now, like I said, this is a time consuming recipe. It's gonna be very enticing to wanna to throw it in the fridge, but I really don't recommend doing that. We just put our butter through some extreme heat and you really don't wanna pull it completely in a different direction. So we're just gonna let it rest and solidify. We can use this time to prepare our baking sheets. We're gonna go ahead and use two classic cookie sheets and we're gonna line that with parchment paper. I also like to get my cookie scoops prepared. I like to use ice cream scoops. Not only will you get a perfectly shaped cookie, but all your cookies will be exactly the same size and that definitely ensures even baking. Traditionally, I would use a medium sized ice cream scoop, but I think because it's Jack Jack we're talking about and a Num Num cookie, I'm gonna go extra large. All right, so let's go ahead and prepare our dry ingredients. Again, this is two and a quarter cups all-purpose flour. And to this, we're gonna add one teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of baking soda. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my whisk here and whisk our ingredients together. All right, as you can see, we let our brown butter rest and this is the consistency we're going for. This looks great. And you really wanna make sure you get those brown bits at the bottom because that's where all your flavor is gonna be. All right, so I'm gonna transfer this to a mixing bowl. I wanna scrape all of it in there. You wanna get all of that butter. To this, we're gonna go ahead and add our one and a quarter cups of brown sugar. Again, I am using light brown since we've already browned the butter. Dark brown is just fine. And then we're gonna add a quarter cup of white sugar. And now I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this to my stand mixer. Now I am using a stand mixer. Um, I love this machine, but you can easily use a hand mixer or if you're looking to get a good arm workout, you can just use a wooden spoon and a bowl. And I'm going to use the beater bar. You wanna start low and build to medium speed. As 
So I've got this going at medium speed. I'm gonna let this go for about four to six minutes. All right, this looks great. We've got a very nice, light, fluffy consistency. This is exactly what we want. So to this, we're gonna go ahead and start adding our eggs. Now, it is one egg and one egg yolk. So let's go ahead and incorporate that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and mix this briefly. And now we're gonna add our one egg yolk. Oh, it's starting to break, but that's okay. We can save it and we're just gonna add this. My egg yolk almost broke, but we were able to save it. It's not the end of the world if that happens. Okay, so let's go ahead and incorporate this. All right. Oh man, that is looking so good. It almost looks like an icing. Now to this, we're gonna go ahead and add our one teaspoon of vanilla. And then we'll go ahead and mix that in. At this point, we're now gonna start incorporating our dry ingredients. And I don't like to incorporate it all at once. Let's do it a cup at a time. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and raise this up. And you wanna start slow. Uh, you don't wanna have a big flour explosion on your hands. So I'm actually gonna pulse it for the first few times. Just let it run for a few passes on slow and then we'll go ahead and add a little bit more flour. And you don't need to fully incorporate the flour with each addition. In fact, you actually don't wanna do that because we don't wanna over mix. So at this point, we'll go ahead and add all the rest of our dry ingredients. And last, but certainly not least, let's add our chocolate chips. You don't wanna to mix too much, just enough to get those chocolate chips mixed in. This looks awesome right here. All right, our cookie batter is done. It looks and smells delicious. Let's go ahead and start scooping it onto our cookie sheets. All right, with our cookie sheets ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and put this into an oven that's been preheated at 350 degrees. You're gonna wanna make sure you've positioned your racks in the upper and lower thirds inside your oven. This recipe tells you to bake the cookies for seven to 10 minutes. Again, my cookies are a little bit bigger. I find that 18 minutes is perfect, and you just wanna make sure you rotate your pans halfway through that. So at this point, I wanna let the cookies rest right here on the cookie sheets for about five minutes before lifting them and placing them on the cooling rack. As you can see, it looks like our time and patience has paid off because these cookies look incredible. And there you have the Jack Jack Num Num cookie. Wow, that is so good. It's rich, it's decadent. That brown butter really adds something to the classic chocolate chip cookie. This might be my new favorite cookie. Okay, I can see why Jack Jack went nuts for these things because these things are so good, guys. I cannot wait for Steve to try one of these things. So I've been in the background filming Mike this whole time and I am so excited to try these. They smell amazing, the whole process smelled amazing. The brown butter in these cookies really kind of, like Mike said, elevate the flavor of this. You definitely have a little bit more of a decadent cookie here and I love that they're nice and thick and doughy. That's my kind of chocolate chip cookie. But look at this. Like, look at how tender that is. Chocolate's melting perfectly. This is an incredible cookie, pun intended. What is that? Oh, I'm gonna sit. You're gonna sit? Okay. What a nice little gentleman. Oh, what is that? I 
right. <laughs> so good. I don't so good. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like this video. Are you gonna try your hand at the Num Num Cookie? Let us know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy.